Hi everyone, my name is Rezwan Tarek and I recently got this uh, Ultra 96 board to test some of my site projects and in this video I am going to be discussing some of its features and I will also show you how you can set up your Ultra 96 board so that you can also get started with some initial testing. So the main attractive feature of this board is the quad core ARM Cortex A5 and a dual core ARM Cortex R5 with 2 GB RAM which is tightly coupled with this MPSOC. As this board is by Avnet and Avnet also provides ready to run Linux images which is also really nice when you are starting out with a new board. And apart from this it has SD card, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and display port support as well. Let's have another look uh, on the top view of this board. So this boot mode switch is really important because based, based on its settings either it will boot from the SD card or you will be able to program it from the JTAG. And these are the uh, low speed expansion header. So for low speed data transactions you are going to be using these and for high speed data transactions you are going to be using this header. And other than that, this is the SD card socket and these are the two USB ports. Here you can see that we have uh, uh, user LEDs and here is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth chip. I ordered these three components, power supply adapter, JTAG board and Ultra 96 board. Let's see what's inside these boxes. This is the JTAG board. It comes with some instructions and this is the Ultra 96 box and inside the box you will find the board with the software license file and if you are using Vivado or Vivado SDSOC this license file will really help you there. Well it's actually a voucher and you can use this voucher to generate licenses for Vivado uh, design systems. And this is the last box and this is for power supply. Normally you can use regular power supplies as well, but in that case you have to check the power ratings of your adapter. You have to be sure that the power ratings of your adapter is compatible with the Ultra 96 board. For my convenience I ordered the power supply from the Avnet. So this is all you get from these three boxes and I forgot to mention the SD card which you will also get uh, along with Ultra 96 board and you use this SD card to copy the Linux image so that you, your Ultra 96 board can boot from the SD card. So we can start preparing um, our SD card so that we can test Linux uh, on our Ultra 96 board. For that you have to come on to this website because we have to download some Linux images and the software with which we can flash the SD card. And you see that if you are starting your board for the first time, you have to download the SD card image, which is the Linux image. And you have to also download this software, which we can use to flash uh, the SD card with the Linux image. You can download this from here. And also this software, if you click on this button, you will be able to download it for Windows. As you can see that I have downloaded all the files and and this is the SD card image and this is the software which is used to flash the image to the SD card. And apart from this I would also recommend you to download PuTTY because uh, PuTTY will be used to see the console messages because when you connect your UART to PC so with the help of PuTTY you can really see all the uh, debug messages uh, of the Linux and another thing which is important is these drivers um, if you are uh, connecting your uh, JTAG board for the first time to your Windows your, your JTAG will not be able to detect for the first time so you have to uh, install these drivers if you go to this website FTDI chip you will be able to see the drivers for different operating systems for example Windows, Linux, Mac so if you are using Windows you should be using uh, you should be downloading uh, these drivers and only then your JTAG pod will be able to detect on um, uh, Windows operating system. So after that so now I will install the software Once 
while it is installing you can prepare your SD card and and put it in the SD card reader of your laptop after installing the software you have to flash the disk image so you can see that I have inserted the SD card and I will go to select and I will select the SD card and I'll now flash it. So take out the SD card from the laptop and now insert it into the SD card slot of your Ultra 96 board. So now let's connect the JTAG board and while you are inserting the JTAG board with the Ultra 96 board, you have to be really careful because this JTAG board is very fragile and if you don't take care of it, you might destroy the board. You, you will be needing your micro USB cable and the one side of the USB cable will go to your JTAG board and the other side to your laptop. This is the boot mode setting switch. And as I said, these are the important settings because if you do the right settings, only then your Zinc MPSOC will boot from the SD card. Do the settings as shown in the figure on the right. If you connect your JTAG uh, USB cable, you will see that in my case, I have a USB port shown up here. But if you don't have the drivers installed, it would be looking something like this. And this is why it is necessary that you go onto this website and you download the drivers if you are uh, using this board for the first time and then only you will be able to see the debug messages so you have to open putty and you have to use the com port 4 because we have the same com port 4 here you have to use the baud rate 115200 because it's written in their guidelines and you have to pick serial uh, serial connection type here and then you have to open the connection so right now the connection is open and I can close this and I can minimize this so now you have to power on the board so when you power on the board you will see that we start to see uh, the Linux messages here so if it's booting that means your image is uh, correct and it will all it will show all the debug messages so The admin is root and the password is also root and you can see the Linux is ready. If if you go to uh, now we can test the web browser. If we go to if you have a look in in your Wi-Fi settings, you will see that uh, you can detect the Ultra 96 Wi-Fi and you can connect to your ultra 96 wi-fi and now you can go to this web address 192. and you can see that the web server is working this is your uh, ultra 96 mac address and yeah, you can directly toggle uh, LEDs from here. For example, if you go to example projects, GPIO LEDs, and you will see that currently uh, one LED is blinking. And I can force each LED one by one. And you see that it has a stop blinking and on and on you can see that now all the four leds are on and we can switch it off one by one 
so yeah that's that's pretty nice and you saw that uh, we are able to connect with uh, with the help of uart but we can also connect we can also connect to the um, to the ultra 96 port using ssh connection and if you load it Uh, the host address is this and the port address is 22 and you click on open and now you type root and root also the password and you see um, you are able to connect to the putty using the SSH connection as well Th that's it from this video um, we have successfully set up our ultra 96 board we set up its drivers, we flash it with the Linux image and we also tested it and it's working, the Linux is working, the SSH connection, the UART is working, so that's really nice. And in future videos, we will see how we can play around with Vivado, how we can make a block design on Vivado for the Ultra 96 board. And I'll also look into other projects related to artificial intelligence and deep learning. So stick around and let me know in the comments whether you like this video or not. And we'll see each other in the next video.